Okay, could you see Big Bertha? Move out the way. I'm gonna try to stay on one lane, literally the whole ride there. I don't have anybody to help me, and it's actually irritating me that nobody, I don't have anybody to help me. Ooh, this is a lot. Too much is going on right now. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How you doing? If you're a turn video babes, girl, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. I'm stressed out. I, I just want to get this over with. But as you can see by the title, your girl is finally moving out of the barracks. I have to go pick up my U-Haul at 12, and it's 10:16. It's about a 45-minute drive. So yeah, this is a one-woman show today. Um, I don't have any help. As much as I want help. <sighs> But I, let me show y'all what I'm living out of. This here basket of clean clothes. That's what I'm living out of because everything else is pretty much packed up. I get paid tomorrow and I don't think y'all understand how much I'm feeding for this money. I just got back from my cruise and I spent way too much money on that cruise. Like, I really wish I had family nearby. Like seriously, this is not something I want to do by myself. Um, I know strong, independent black woman, but sometimes it's okay to ask for help, you know. That's something I keep telling myself. But I don't want to be a burden. Okay, y'all. So I got the U-Haul. This is very. My dad don't want to answer. This is very adult, but for quality insurance purposes, I'm about to record the U-Haul just in case, cause I don't see anything wrong with it. But just in case, can y'all tell I'm a little nervous? <sighs> let's just do this shit, you know. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Do they got an ox? Cause I'm gonna need some music, some something. Baby, ain't nobody got that type of plug in. It is 2024. I'm hot. Let me pray. Lord, I pray you protect me on this journey getting back. And I get, I pray that you give me the strength and the confidence and the courage to drive this big Bertha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Also, Jesus, I pray that you you um protect the passengers that's on the road, Jesus, because this is a big Bertha. Amen. Okay. Driver door is open. No, it's not. Okay, drive. We're in drive. <sighs> My directions. We're good. We're Gucci. Now just drive. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, this ain't that bad. Is someone honking at me? See, uh-uh, I'm gonna have to fix that because I can't see over there and I don't like that at all. It needs to be turned inward, so let me just um, park and fix that real quick. There's somebody behind me, guys! There's somebody behind me! I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Okay, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that mirror. We're just gonna have to lean back. Okay, there's somebody behind me, guys. Okay, can somebody open the gate, please? Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. Open the gate. How do you open the gate? Is it gonna open? Is this gate gonna open? Ooh, this is a lot. Too much is going on right now. I'm gonna try to stay on one lane, literally the whole ride there. So I'm finally back, and tell me why. I had my friend go take me to to where I dropped my car off. Why did I leave my key in the U-Haul? So I had to come back. And so now I'm trying to figure out how I'm about to go back to get my car. I don't know. But while I figure that out, I'm going to start moving some of this stuff out. But I don't know how to open the back of the U-Haul truck. So I'm about to look it up on TikTok. I don't know. It's not. This isn't helping me. Okay, hold up, y'all. And my tripod is in my car, so... This is gonna be real ghetto. And y'all, it is hot outside. I'm gonna start with the large boxes. This is a lot of stuff, y'all. My phone's about to die, what's going on? Low battery, please switch on
Is that? Who's calling me? Yeah. Because I'm moving my shit. I don't have anybody to help me, and it's actually irritating me that nobody. I don't have anybody to help me. We could go ban for ban. For Who needs a man? But I can't let a broke nigga be. Oh my god, I'm overstimulated already. Good morning, y'all. We gonna do this the right way, okay? Um, yesterday it was i was overstimulated like y'all i'm so sorry that i did not show y'all me packing but what i did show y'all i feel like y'all could see how overstimulated i was but let me show y'all how far i got on my room um and i'm also sorry i didn't show y'all like a before i even started putting stuff in boxes i did start packing very early on um so yeah but let's go so this back area is pretty much clean uh kind of obviously um and then this is what my room looks like all the decorations are taken down it looks so ugly in here yesterday was a rough ass sleep for me um because i don't like sleeping in the dark i didn't have my rain music yeah it was a lot so all this stuff is going to come in my car once it's time for me to like fully finally leave but I'm about to get on the road because I didn't do it yesterday because by the time I got done with everything, it was starting to get dark and I didn't feel comfortable driving a U-Haul in the dark. So I just added an extra day onto my U-Haul and now we're about to actually get on the road. So I'm a lot more comfortable with um, driving now because I drove yesterday. I'm not like super duper comfortable, but I'm comfortable enough. But I am prepared too because... The radio just has regular radio, so I brought my speaker. Let's get on this mother freaking road. It says I'm gonna get there at two o'clock, which is not bad. This is such an experience. I'm hungry and I want a Sonic burger, bro. I don't know what Sonic put in they burgers, but Jesus, sometimes we go to Sonic might be juicy. Okay, wait, I have to focus, y'all. Driving slow. Okay, cause you see Big Bertha, move out the way. Bro, 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 bro. On the road. See something passing by when I'm on the road. I can get me a big fat burger. What the fuck is that? I think that was a bug, y'all. I don't know what that was, but it was just climbing on my fucking leg. I got so much content to edit. I'm not even gonna sit here and and and, and lie just a little bit of, of a lie. Like I think I'm like six videos behind. But after this move out series, I'm not I'm not vlogging. I'm not vlogging until probably my birthday. I need to edit. Like bitch, you you sit down somewhere. That's what I need to do. Because there's this Virginia vlog. Hopefully by the time this is out y'all already seen all of that if y'all didn't this is embarrassing but i got a, i got two virginia vlogs one is unlisted right now on my page i just need to make a thumbnail so i need to lock in and do that i got another virginia vlog that i haven't even started editing i got a beach vlog that happened before the virginia vlog but it's, it's like <clears throat> a buffer vlog so i need to start editing that i have my cruise preparation vlog my cruise vlog and i don't even know if I'm gonna put my cruise vlog in just one video, I don't know how that's gonna work, so. Tag 
and volunteer army in need of a shower. Somehow the feet of global superpower. Go on the fight for your left back. I'm a right hand man back. Get your right hand man back. I just gotta get your right hand man back. I hate how my bladder works. Like, I pulled over to get some gas because y'all. Why is that needle on E, child? I completely forgot. Do they got Apple Pay? Of course they don't. Okay, I'm about to go inside and pee, and I'm going to talk to you. Ah, I'm going to talk to you on the Yo, I don't know how to pump this gas. No lie. This man just asked if he can talk to me, and I ignored him, so. Which one is unlead? Fuck. I don't fucking know. I'm going to call my dad. I don't fucking know. Dad, which which gas is unlead? Is that 87 or 89 or 93? The gas station I'm on only has the numbers. Alrighty, that's what I was calling for. Okay, bye, love you. Dad, if you're watching this, you don't ever just give this the straight answer. You gotta give a whole a whole class. But yeah, I was walking up and this guy was like, Can I talk to you for a second? I ignored him. That, that's really why I started recording because I got scared. It's like when people approach me in the wild, I'm just like Especially if you can visibly tell they're a lot older, I'm like, Who are you? Help! <laughs> I'm 15 minutes away, y'all, by the way. Okay, so I got my storage unit. I don't need to open this. Can I do this with one hand? No, I can't. Sorry, y'all. pretty much good place okay hold on let me get the i don't have my tripod y'all so y'all don't have to get terrible like it's a great space like it's just the amount of space that I need the definition of you don't need a man for shit To my granddaughter. Yes, he wasn't invited. Literally, what the fuck do you mean? Remember, I, we were in the back of his truck, and I was like, "Y'all want to come to my going away?" Um, I'm, not, I'm too happy. I don't give a fuck who comes and who goes, honestly. But anyways, we're on the way to my going away. I've been a terrible vlogger. I'm so sorry, but just know I am so happy. Yo, why are you? Um, so we got all the people who show up on time and then everybody who's in the other table is all the people who show up late which is kind of a lot of people but yeah the people are so I was like you need to pay for this is Bella I said I love you are you saying how these people oh my god are you saying it was like go fucking Haley you didn't have bacon on it I have four 
We will miss your presence, but we know that you will continue to be the ray of sunshine wherever you go. Though we are sad to see you depart, we know your path ahead will be filled with success, joy, fulfillment, and hopefully end up on the cover of a magazine. You will be greatly missed. Fair winds the following season. Oh my god! Stop the cap!
hard that I met you because when I think of you, I think of our friendship. And I'm not gonna say too much, so I'll tell you in private. But I love you so much, and I just want you to know that you're gonna do amazing for me, girl. And honestly, <laughs> I'm so happy that I can send you my best fucking friend. And I promise you, like every weekend, I'll be in Savannah when you get there because I'm going to Japan in six months. And I really, I really, really love you. And I am so thankful for having you in my fucking life because who else is gonna be there at four in the morning when I'm crying about something dumb or like I stubbed my toe or who's in my never mind, cut that in my pocket. Like you're my best friend I'd rather have. And I'm just I hate to say goodbye, but I know it's pretty sweet. And it's just to see you soon. I'll send you a ticket out when you come to Japan, so <laughs> <laughs> you got me crying looking at you. Girl down. Oh, I didn't get to work with you very long. The moment I saw your dad together was amazing. Keep the goofiness, your happiness, your little cheerleader way. You have me at night at 501. Very easy. Having you around with all of our team stories and you know. But thank you so much. Continue to be you. Don't ever change. Don't let nobody ever get up to here ever again. Here he okay, you are stronger than that. I love you. Good design. Awesome. I would just like to say, uh, this right here is amazing. The support that I see that y'all give her is like unmatched. But leading up to this moment, y'all didn't see it, but I see her dedication, her perseverance, getting ready for boot camp. You know, she's going into it. I was like, she's going to kill it. She was willing to. I mean, I know all y'all know what I'm talking about, but the preparation going into boot camp and the male and the female type thing. Oh, shit. Her out doing a lot of the males that was in her little. You didn't lean into it, like it was like amazing. And to see what she had now and hear everything that everybody said. Yeah, she's done. She has overcome a lot of stuff. And I know she's going to continue to persevere and overcome and everything that, you know, all the ranks and stuff. But with everything that everybody's saying, you know, the sky's the limit and you destined to be great.
like with this topic, like, you can hate that. You didn't even pay one. But all the nice things, thank you. And for everybody who's been the shoulder for me to lean on, I really do appreciate it. Because if everybody was there during November, I was going through it. And if I called on you for help or if I cried to you, I really do appreciate that. Because I, I don't think anyone understands how low you can get in the military, but having those people for you to lean on, like, it means everything. So, to a new journey on to whatever life brings the four years impacted me but it didn't stop me and yeah if you come this far in the video make sure you like if you like this content comment down below if you want some more and subscribe to girl if you're feeling my advice because i'm feeling y'all's too and i'll see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>